Hello, this is Dr. Anthony Saras, academic rheumatologist in the University of Oxford in the United Kingdom, reporting for Euler TV. We have today with us Professor Laurent Arnaud from the University of Strasbourg in France and president of the SLE Euro Society. So, Professor Arnaud, you presented uh, a, a, a quite comprehensive talk about the use of glucocorticoids uh, in uh, systemic lupus erythematosus. This is a hot topic, and would you like to mention the main key points of your talk. Oh, thank you. Um, first of all, thank you very much to Eula for the opportunity to showcase the results of the Lupin F study. I think this is a very important study because it's a nationwide study, uh, which means that we analyzed the uh, delivery by pharmacies of uh, glucocorticoids for the full country of France. So it yields a very important sample size. We have more than 30,000 lupus patients that are included in the analysis and we capture drug deliveries in pharmacies. So I think these are very robust data. Yeah, exactly. So, and what, what is the main result you would like to communicate with the rheumatology community today? Mm -hmm. I think that the study brings uh, several uh, important results forward. I, I see mostly two results which I think are relevant. The first one is that corticosteroids are being given at mean doses of more than five milligrams per day in 12% of uh, French lupus patients, mm -hmm. so that is an important proportion. And the second very important result is that 14% of patients are only treated with corticosteroids. They have lupus oh. and they have no hydroxychloroquine, no conventional immunosuppressive agent, no biologic, no nothing, just corticosteroids, and that is a bit sad. Okay. Do you think uh, th th this is a consequence of lack in education about how to treat systemic lupus erythematosus. Mm -hmm. how, as, as president of the SLE Euro, how do you think we can change that? Yeah, that is a great question. Thank you for that. I, I think lupus patient pathways are especially complicated in lupus. Uh, there are lots of different trajectories. And actually, we, we've been studying this. There are lots of di disruption points. And if we want to address them, well, there's a lot of work. But this is what EULA is for, and we are working all together. Yeah, and actually with new drugs being approved for lupus mm -hmm. now, probably we have more weapons uh, to, to use to treat refractory disease and perhaps we can start thinking about sparing steroids in the long term. I fully agree. I think there are many, many unmet needs. We definitely need treatments and I see a lot of enthusiasm enthusiasm here at EULA, so I'm yeah. very happy about that. And would you like to make a comment for the future of lupus in the next decade? Yeah, so that is, a, that is a difficult question you're asking me. But I think we will see profound changes in the way we, we take care of our patients. Uh, probably the pathway will be simplified. Probably it will be better organized at nationwide levels. And I think intelligence, artificial and digital rheumatology is a strong transforming force. Yeah, absolutely. Professor Arnaud, thank you very much for sharing your expertise with us today on Euler TV. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.